We got a box. Yes, we do. I may have already opened it and I do have a knife, so I'm very dangerous right now. But this box came from QA1 Motorsports, which they're awesome. So back up a little bit. The Nova, which is currently on jack stands, the engine does not run. We are three weeks away from drag week. I messaged a bunch of different people and I'm gonna have a t-shirt coming out very soon. Well, it's out now, but I will release it very soon um, for you guys to get it. I'll have a bunch very soon. Um, I contacted a bunch of the companies, and QA1 is the first one to get here, and they are super cool, um, because I, I messaged them, asking, you know, hey, I'm running Drag Week, can you guys, can we do anything? And they're like, yeah, sure, you want shocks? And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And I was asking, you know, I was trying to be nice, <laughs> and asked for, like, single adjustables, like the race shocks and stuff. They're like, we don't make those anymore. You want double adjustable? And I was sitting there like, you said it, I didn't say it, yes, I'll take as whatever you give me. Um, and they sent me a really cool pack of shocks and t-shirts, I think, and banners. So we're going to look into this box and see what it is. And keep in mind, me sitting down, it's a pretty big box. So we got our nice little receipt right here. That is telling us what's in here. We got t-shirts, we got a hat, we got the double adjustable shocks, and a banner. So that says. So let's see what all this stuff looks like. one of the shirts. That's super cool. Go drive it. Heck yeah. That's awesome. I'm standing up so you're going to see my belly for a minute. There's the other shirt. Sick. And there's tape. official. Look at that. That's cool. It's going to go definitely in the shop somewhere. Absolutely. That will be awesome. But the big thing, the whole point of this box, okay, is a hat. You got the nice cool one trucker hat. Okay, the real reason, the good box. Look at that. That's the real reason right there. We're gonna throw this, this away. We don't need this part. It's all about the sticker. Just kidding. I have no idea how to adjust these, but you got the QA1 double adjustable shock now. These are gonna go on the back of the car because my car is weird. They were originally gonna send me four double adjustable shocks. But they don't make them anymore for the Novas because 62 to 67 Novas are weird in the front end. They're almost Ford-like. Um, and yeah, they're just the way they're set up. They don't really work for, they don't make any more shocks or anything for the front end aside from the single adjustables or the Stalker Stars, I think, which are the non-adjustable ones. Um, which is totally cool. I already have those in the front end, so that's what we're gonna rock in the front end with the CPP front suspension kit that I have. And then we got the Calvert split monos and Cal track bars in the back. And now, instead of single adjustables, we got double adjustable, which I think I'm able to adjust uh, compression and rebound now. Yep, that's what this is. So, as per the instructions, you got, there's a lot of instructions right here. So, I have no idea how to adjust these, so I'm definitely gonna read these and figure out what makes the most sense for the back of the car and try to help the car leave as best as we possibly can. Because also, as of today, which is Thursday, August 24th, I think, um, tomorrow, which is Friday, there's a test in tune out at Bristol Dragway, which last time we ran the Nova, we flattened the cam. So I spent about $1,000 on a used roller cam and lifters and new valve springs and push rods for a 
and we're in the process of putting the engine back in the car. So, yeah, we're probably about another 45 minutes away from starting it. That's a different video, though. Um, this video is all about QA1 and how awesome they are. And then I'm going to do a video on each other's sponsor and talk with them. And if if I have the ability to talk with them, I will in the video. Uh, but otherwise. A huge shout out to QA1. Definitely a sticker is going to go on the back of the car. We're a rock sticker on the back of the car. They're on the t-shirt that I made. Um, and I mean, just huge shout out to them. I can't thank them enough and I definitely don't deserve it. So, <laughs> um, it'll be awesome to run these on the back of the car. I know the single adjustables are already way good. and I can't wait to see what the double adjustables do because everyone talks about how good double adjustable QA1s are on their cars. and. It'll be fun to see how it works with all the racing suspension we have. And kind of, in a certain degree, see what they do drag racing, but just in general, we can set them up and, and down the road we can see what it does in autocross stuff maybe and kind of show that Calvert split monos can do other stuff like, you know, hit tail of the dragon and it doesn't feel like you're driving a foil drive truck. Because it honestly doesn't. With the, with the Calvert bars and the QA1s, I don't know. I think the QA1s, in the, just in the back, I mean, as it is, the QA1s are doing a fantastic job in the car already, and I, it makes it handle way better than the stock monos or the multi-leafs I had in the car handled. Um, and air shocks, I mean, they are leaps and bounds better than the air shocks. They're way better than the KYBs. Um, honestly, I mean, shocks are a really big deal, so if you can afford to buy shocks, I totally would 100% do it. They did give me these shocks, so that's your disclosure. They gave me all this stuff, so. I am saying that they are awesome, and they are awesome in my car. My mom has the single adjustables in the back of her Cougar, and she really enjoys them. Uh, she wants to put the single adjustables in the front of her car, too. Uh, but, yeah, we're walking away from the age of the 70s and going into, like, you know, adjustable shocks and stuff. So, moving away from air shocks. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't thank you anyone enough. I'm going to open these guys up, and we're probably going to put them on the night, because we're going to make a couple test hits probably on, in Mexico. We're going to make a couple... couple we're probably going to make a couple of test hits in Mexico because, yeah, Mexico's right there. So we're going to go over there and make a couple of test hits, allegedly. Um, and we're going to make sure we put these on. I'll probably do a little bit of video of that. You'll probably see a little time lapse of any of us swapping these shocks. Because in my time lapse, you'll see us, you know, underneath the car, you'll see legs moving, and that's about all you'll be able to see. So um, <laughs> I think I, we've all seen us swapping shocks around once or twice. Literally all that happens with these is it's like every other stock Chevrolet shock. Stock shock, honestly, that mounts. I mean, that goes in the floor right there. You bolt that in. That goes into the spring perch and the leaf spring. And you get fully adjustable traction helper. <laughs> no spin tires. Maybe do help do wheelies. You never know. Um, but yeah, with that being said, Thank you guys, QA1. I really appreciate it. Um, can't thank you guys enough and appreciate the support and hope we can do more stuff down the road. But until then, Drag Week. Drag Week's gonna be awesome. And you've made it that much better. So thank you. With that being said, the Nova still doesn't run. So we have to make that run. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'll see you guys later. Catch back in a little bit. I'm going to post that video very soon, I think. Probably this weekend or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday. One of those days. Next week. Because we got test and tune tomorrow. There's a car show down, down the street Saturday. And there's a bracket race on Sunday. So I'll try to see if I can, like, melt all that together into one video after we've done the engine swap. So, yeah. There's a lot going on. And I hope I can capture all of it halfway decent for you all. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.